This is worksheet 8-6, problems 9 and 10. The directions state, use a calculator to solve each equation. Round your answers to the nearest thousandth. So we're rounding to the nearest thousandth. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my calculator. Okay, I'm going to quit out. Let's see here. If we want to solve this on the calculator, you could use your solver. I prefer to use the graphing method. So what I'm going to do is go in and enter in this function. It's already set equal to zero, which is good because we're going to think of zero as like our, our Y, right? That'll be our output. Okay. But before we do this one, I'm going to tell you that you need to make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. Okay. Because we're talking about some trig, we're talking about the sign. So, because of that, before I even type in my function, let's go to mode. And I'm going to just double check. You see here, I've got mine now in radians. Okay, so I'm going to type it in. I'm going to do the natural log of x, close my parenthesis, times the sine of x plus 1, close my parenthesis. Okay, because it equals 0, remember, we're going to be looking for where this function crosses the x-axis, but we're only looking for answers in this interval from 0 to 5, so we're going to need to also set our window. So we're going to, we're going to go into our window option, and I want to make my x min 0, my x max 5. As for our y values, right, since we're focusing on the x-axis, Okay, right, we really don't have to go that, that high on these. So I'm just going to go like negative 2 and positive 2. Okay, so when we go in and we type it in, natural log of x, I thought I already typed it in, but I might have cleared it out, times the sine of x plus 1. And now we go to graph. So you'll see here that looks like we're going to have, whoops, Looks like we're going to have two places where it's crossing the x-axis. Looks like one of them is at 1, and the other one is at 2.1415, so 2.142, if we're rounding to the nearest thousand. Okay, so we get here x equals 1, and we get that x equals 2.1415. 1, 4, 2. Okay, so remember your calculator needs to be in radians, otherwise it may not have come out that same way. Let's look at 10. We have e to the power of x squared equals 3 times x. So I'm going to do this one the same way on the calculator by graphing because I don't think that's the easiest. So to do that, I also want to make sure that this one, this new equation, also ends up equaling 0. So I'm going to go ahead and just subtract 3x from each side. I'm going to make this equation now say e to the power of x squared minus 3x equals 0. And again, right, that's going to be my y value. And I'm going to type that in. This one doesn't really give us, uh, you know, an interval to look at, but it's also not a periodic function. So let's go ahead and y equals, we will clear this one out, and we're going to say e raised to the power of x squared, and we have minus 3x. And let's go to graph. All right, so it looks like we can see our answers right here. Let's figure out what they are. The first one looks like we have a 0 0.3872. So 0 0.387. And our second answer 1.087, so x equals 1.087.
That's all I got for problems 9 and 10 from the 8-6 worksheet.